Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this short video, I'm going to be reviewing this cruiser scooter. I bought this at Walmart um, probably about six, seven months ago for my six-year-old daughter. And uh, just, by the way, it's up on this stand here just so it's at an even level that I can see and show all the details nicely. So anyway, this is the scooter. Um, it does have the larger wheels. I think these are the eight-inch wheels. So this is the larger wheels um, that you can get uh, compared to some of the other scooters. This is a folding scooter. Of course, this is not an electric scooter. Here, here's what it looks like from the bottom. It's really just a kind of a steel beam here, closed here, then it opens up here. Um, this is not an electric scooter, as I mentioned. Um, it does fold up, which is quite a nice feature. Let me show you how it folds. Pull this lever here, push it forward actually, and then this part comes down. It's a little awkward doing it in this bike stand, but that's basically how it folds up. And uh, we do use the folding feature a lot because it's nice to throw into your car in this smaller folded, folded configuration. And then to unfold it again, by the way, that's locked. You can see it's locked closed. To re-extend it to its normal Use usable shape, you push this lever in, and it rotates, and then it clicks, and now it's back. You know, I should mention though, there is some play. You don't notice it when you're riding, because it just kind of goes into that, goes like that, and you don't, I don't really notice it when you're scooting on it. Um, the handlebars and the steering do rotate freely round and round and round. And I find sometimes that my daughter especially will actually be riding with the with it backwards. So the wheel is a little bit more that way than it should, but it doesn't really seem to matter that much. Uh, should mention also the handlebar is extendable. You simply undo this uh, clasp here and it goes up and down quite a bit. But at the level that it, you see it at now is actually how we all ride it. So. She will ride it, she's six years old. I'll sometimes ride it, my wife will ride it. Um, and it's pretty much fine like that. Now, of course, this sticker didn't come with it. This is something that we added on. Um, but uh, otherwise, it's the way it came. We use it a lot too. We just throw, it's nice just to throw in the car and have something she can play around on. She's been through a lot of puddles at the park and stuff and the wheels are still roll, still rolling just fine. I was kind of worried about that getting water in the wheels, but they don't seem to care, at least yet. Uh, it does have a brake on it too, I should mention. So they put their foot here is the idea, and it does slow down. Of course, the brakes aren't very strong really, but it does slow it down. And in reality, you just don't go that fast, maybe, you know, unless you're going down a hill or something, but we never go that fast on it. It just isn't like a bicycle where you're really gaining a lot, a ton of speed. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, the grips are, are fairly comfortable. They're way up here right now, but the grips are fairly comfortable. They're this kind of rubberized material. We haven't had any trouble with that. We haven't had any trouble with durability. Um, again, you can also uh, change the height here with these detent pins and, and bring it up and down to three different heights there. Now that I say that, I'm not totally sure. Let's check if this clasp is really for the height. That, I may I might have said that wrong. I think I think that just kind of locks it in from the assembly. If you want to bring it up and down, you actually need to press this detent pin in and bring it to one of the three settings. But we have it on the lowest setting, which is working fine for all all of us. Um, my six year old, myself, my wife, we all use it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like while why I'm on it. And this hopefully will just give you an idea of the, of the size of it, it's the scale of it. I'm five foot seven, and uh, yeah, for me it's actually pretty fun and comfortable at this height. My daughter's down here, and she has fun with it too. So overall, overall, I would say this scooter has been a win. You know, it's not quite as fun as her bike, which can go a lot faster, but. For something just to throw in the car, to just kind of something for a little kid to do, it's been pretty great. I guess the one thing I don't like about it as much as some of the others, I guess anyway, 
is it has no kickstand. So it's always just being leaned or dropped on the ground. There's no way, there's no kickstand on this one at all, where some of them do have that. So if that's a feature you're looking for, you might want to look elsewhere. But otherwise, we've been really happy with it. It's just a little toy to kick around. I think it was like $40 at Walmart. So not a big deal, but a fun little toy. Just something to do when you go to the park. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.